I guess this is one of the best investments you know you can do is get your political buddies in. So let's while we're here, let's take a look at how much money did Mr. Hussein, our current president, how much did he take from Goldman Sachs? Well, gee, the numbers show me about what? Oh, almost you know nine hundred thousand dollars, almost a cool mill. Not counting the side money and the pack money because he's not taking pack money, right? <clears throat> let's look at his biggest campaign contributors. Gee, it's funny they're all banks. And pharmacy, geez, and defense. Take a look at this. Yeah, it's kind of funny, huh? So anyway, in addition, you know, this, uh, don't leave out, you know, our last buddy. In addition, you know, he got 480000 as director of the Philadelphia Stock Exchange, right? Plus 250000 for his quarterly briefings to two hedge funds, okay? Speaking things of 150000 What a Ponzi scheme. And they got you going. It, it's comedy. So let's go to Adam Storch. I remember Larry Storch from, uh, from F Troop, but that's just my upbringing of too much television. Here we go. Let's take Adam Storch's ties. Storch worked for Goldman Sachs for five years, okay, reaching the position of VP. He's a vice president of Business Intelligence Group. Now what does he do? He's Obama's managing executive of the Security and Exchange Commission's Division on Enforcement. So who's going to put the screws to people but Mr. Storch, another Goldman Sachs guy. Goldman schmucks. Yeah, I really feel for you. We probably have residents in Sharon who have relatives working for Goldman Schmucks. And I hope you like the fact that they're screwing everybody's grandchildren and great-grandchildren. Yeah, you talk about that at dinner the next time your Goldman Schmucks employee's son or daughter or relative comes home. Okay? Goldman Sachs paid him $135,000 for a single speech he gave in 2008. Very good investment, by the way, you know. He's repaid Goldman Sachs now that he's what? He's the, um, hmm... And, oh, I'm sorry, sorry. I jumped ahead. We'll get to the brilliant Larry Summers. Okay, so what's his ties? He's been to Bilderberg. Oh, that's where those globalist leaders bankers meet. Well, they talk about eugenics and getting rid of your children, putting stuff in your food and your water and your vaccines. Huh, don't believe me. Do your own due diligence. But anyway, yeah, there he is with the Hamilton Project and stuff. Larry Summers, Obama's chief economic advisor, head of the National Economic Council. Summers' boss at Goldman Sachs was none other than Robert Rubin. <clears throat> Small world, huh? Because you did want change, didn't you? Yeah. Okay. Goldman Sachs ties the Obama administration just a revolving door. So once again, just as a recap, so you know what Goldman Sachs is good at doing. Okay, they um, no losses in that last quarter, right? Ninety days, not a single loss. Okay, sold BP stock two days before the oil well um, started leaking. Hmm. Rather interesting. Uh, did the derivatives on housing, didn't they? While they, they sold derivatives to pension plans, to states, to counties, okay, to foreign countries, while they were shorting them. Yeah. Find out about shorting and naked short selling. Yeah, you'll find out some. Okay. Their bonuses exceeded their profits. Let's not forget Goldman schmucks. Okay. Yeah. They got changed to a holding company. Yeah. So what did our Treasury Secretary Geithner do for them? They, on the day that they said, oh, we've got to rescue the banks. This is the banker bailout. We're stealing from your great-grandchildren and stuff. What did they do? They changed them to holding companies so they don't fall into the same rules as banks. Rather interesting, huh? It pays when you have your people. You know, when you pay those contra contributions or whatever for those campaigns, Look, it pays off real good, doesn't it? Doesn't for you, the average American, or for even you, the viewer, or your children, or your wife, okay, as they faust upon you all these lies and they take away your rights and destroy this republic? I guess I'm looking for men with, you know, some testosterone still left in them. So anyway, yeah, Goldman, before we leave, yep, they got the billions from AIG, and let's not forget how much fun they had with bubbles. So I'll ask you once again, are you living as a united slave of Goldman Smucks. Yeah. Oh, one thing. As a little bit of 9-11 Zen, okay, because I like to whip a little 9-11 Zen on, I want you to find out who is Buzzy Krongard. Did he work for the Central Intelligence Agency? Is he now a stockbroker and have a brokerage firm? And were they the ones who put the shorts on United Airlines and on American Airlines before 9-11? And were those shorts greater than any shorts ever put on those stocks before by multiples? Because these bankers, do they make money on wars? So just to update you on a couple more people, because I like to, you know, let's talk the new Miss Elena Kagan, who writes papers about how we should take away people's free speech. Yes. Well, Elena Kagan was appointed by the Obama to serve as Solicitor General. Yeah. 
So she argues as a lawyer for the government side, right? Kagan served as a member of the Research Advisory Council of G -G 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 Goldman Schmucks. Yeah, kind of interesting, huh? Why don't you read some of her writings? Because I know you like to check the facts. Find out what Miss Kagan has written. So another Goldman employee, or we're going to put them on what? On the bench of the Supreme Court. Once again, isn't it Princeton, Harvard, and Yale? It's like bombs, blood, and banks? Yeah, how does that work? Yeah, because they're so brilliant. In a, in a country of 300 million, these are the finest people we can find. I'm sure, aren't you? So let's take a look at Howard P. Berkowitz. Now you know what the ADL, why? Because now we can have hate speech. Isn't this, you know, the control of free speech? We'll go back to Kagan. She writes things just like, um, oh, Cass Sunstein, another one of Barry Satoro, a.k.a. Barack Hussein OB, okay? His, uh, his like, information czar or whatever, you know? Yeah, Cass Sunstein and how he wants to do what? He wants to limit free speech. He wants to tax for free speech. We'll get into a whole other show about free speech, but understand that right now in states, they're trying to say, we should license reporters. They're going to try to control what you hear and see. They've already got some control, but they're losing it which is a good sign, by the way. That's good news, that people are reading and learning from alternative sources so they can think for themselves. They don't have to listen to the major manipulated media controlled by these banksters. Well, anyway, let's look at William Dudley. Did we tell you about him? You know, he was a good, happy CEO of the New York Fed, right? With Geithner and Bernanke, okay? Um, yeah, he's now, according to the Federal Reserve Bank of New York, became the 10th president and chief executive officer of the Federal Reserve Bank of New York City. A private banking cartel, I'll have you know. They're not federal, and they have no reserves. I don't even think they're legally a bank. But they create your money from nothing, huh? Is there anything they can't buy? If you could create money from nothing, like if you pushed a button, it's like, that was easy and you can create money from nothing? Is there anything you couldn't buy? So here we go. How about Blair Efron? Yeah, look at, the con look at his contributions, okay? Efron's a money man, and as a bundler for the 2008 Obama campaign, he raised more than $100,000. What a guy. According to his website, he's also a mega donor of the Obama in 2008 with more than 28500 Got everybody in the family to give, huh? Okay. He's also on the advisory council of Goldman Schmucks, yeah, with Robert Newman funded Hamilton Project. Let's all act surprised. Furman, we told you about. Oh, let's, yeah, Richard Gebhardt. Remember Dick? Yeah, just another Dick. Let's take a look at his ties. Important thing, according to the New York Times, the universal health coverage could not pass in 2009, and, was, and he urged Obama to defer that goal. He pushed it through in 2010. Yeah, you should read some of what Gebhardt does, you know? What his official position and stuff is now. Um, one of the old friends of Mr. Gebhardt's assessment to his lucrative new career as a lobbyist, Gebhardt also sits in the advisory council to the Hamilton Project, funded by Robert Rubin and Goldman Schmucks, if you think I'm kidding. How about Philip Murphy? Let's take a look at Philip and his ties. He's scumbag bankers, okay? Yeah, he was appointed the old the ambassador to Germany. Kind of interesting, huh? Obama's just loving these Goldman Schmucks guys who worked for decades for Goldman Schmucks and served as Goldman Schmucks head of its German offices. Funny, huh? Michael Grandorf. What do we know about him? Okay, he's a money man. Contributed lots of bucks. He's a mega donor because he gave the 28500 again. That's the max, right? Yeah, founder of Pomona Capital. Gandalf is one of the 19 members of Goldman Sachs. Robert Rubin's funded Hamilton Project. Small world, huh? Well, Liddy, he's got some ties. There's a little star for him. He was the CEO of AIG. You remember AIG. They're the ones they stole your money for, and the excuse was, we've got to bail out AIG, because they were taking and wrapping those insurance policies around what? Around those bundled crud mortgages. Yes. Remember the Federal Reserve's loose money policies? Everybody's going to get a house. You don't need a pulse. We'll lend you more money than the house is worth. Well, yeah, AIG which was essentially taken over by the government. You remember, just like General Motors and Chrysler, right? He was serving in high positions at Goldman Sachs, including board member. Another Goldman schmuck, what do you know? Has picked his Goldman board uh, by none other than Hank Paulson, the previous Treasury Secretary for Bush, who was with Goldman schmucks also. Yeah. He was def Oh, don't even start. There. Oh, jeez. It's just funny. During the U.S. presidential debate on October 7, 2008, Democratic presidential nominee, Senator... 
Barack Hussein Obama, a.k.a. Barry Satoro, mentioned the retreat and said the Treasury should demand the money back from those executives should be fired. That had to do with AIG spent $440,000 taking their guys up for a party. Yeah.